Today we're going to be going over the Panduit Verisic, what it is, how it's installed, how to use it, and some of the great benefits and features of it. All right, so this is our Eaton MCC. As you can see, I've got power on. It's 240 volts. There's our actual Panduit Verisafe, and I have it installed on the main disconnect of our MCC. There's a breaker inside of that MCC, provides power to the whole unit, and then I've got a disconnect locally on the wall that shuts off power to the unit. So you'll notice there's some red lights on it right here, as well as a sticker telling you what the lights mean. So you can see red means hazardous voltage present. If I go ahead and hit this button right here to test, you'll see it's flashing. And once the test is complete, we still have our red lights on, which means there's hazardous voltage present. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the breaker off on the MCC as well as the disconnect to the MCC. I have this installed on the line side of my main breaker. That way we know even if I cut the main breaker of the MCC, there could still be 40 volt present inside the MCC. So by doing this, it allows us to have no voltage present inside the unit at all when we make sure we cut the disconnect upstream. All right, so I've killed the main breaker inside the MCC as well as the breaker upstream. So you'll notice there's no lights on this. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the test button again. There is a battery inside the unit so that it'll still test the presence of voltage. So now you'll see I'm all green. And by looking at the sticker means equipment de-energized less than three volts present. So this goes all the way down to three volts. So we'll do it one more time just to make sure. Yep, all green. So now what I can do, I can go ahead and I'm gonna open up my bucket. All right, so now we've got the main breaker open and you can see inside of here all the different devices for this main breaker with the Eaton MCC. So you'll notice on the back of the door, this is that Verisafe unit that we were using. There is a battery, the AA battery that goes inside of there. It just mounts on your door using like a 30 millimeter knockout. And it's got a cable that goes here that goes into this base unit. So there's that base unit right there. You'll see it has some contacts on there right there that you can use. Uh, our cable plugs in right here. Now this unit, you can dinner rail mount it or you can just use screws and mount it to the back plane like I did. And you'll notice there's a nipple coming out of the top with a whip. So we've got our ground wire that you need to connect to the ground. Then we've got our phase wires right here. And so then that comes in. You'll notice these right here, these clamps. So those are actually insulated clamps that come with the Panduit Verisafe. And what you do, you clamp it around a wire. There's two wires from the Verisafe that go in there to check. And then this goes on up to 600 volts. You put this around and there's actually piercing connectors that when you tighten down, the piercing connectors come in and pierce the wire. Uh, so you don't have to cut wire. You don't have to install it anywhere. Now I don't have to use these devices. I can actually take these leads right here and I can just land them in a terminal block, you know, on a lug, on a break or something like that. But I like this install. It's clean. It's safe. There's no exposed wires. It's all rubberized and insulated. So with that, you know, that, does my install like i said i have it installed on the line side of the breaker incoming power so that way i can make sure that there is no 480 or 230 volt present inside of this unit whatsoever i have to kill the main breaker upstream or in my case a disconnect upstream to make sure that this works uh, so that's it for the verisafe that's all there is to it again you've got your module right here right here which is what does our visualization and the battery inside of it We've got our cable that runs to it, and then we've got our module right there, the actual, that's the brains of the unit, and then just our whip. And you can order different lengths of whips that go. You know, they've got ones all the way up to 10 meters. So plenty of good information on the Panduit website. As always, you know, we're here to answer any questions you guys have. Thank you.